Hello and welcome to video number six and let's go ahead and do the product test. Now at this point in the time, you know for a fact that this is a niche that you want to go into. But what we need to do now is we need to make sure that we are going to be able to profit from this block. So what you need to do as far as product creation goes is figure out if you have an unlimited supply of products that you can sell to your market. Because the more products that you have, the higher your revenue stream is going to be. Now, there are different routes that you can take. You can either find affiliate products or in other words, products that other people have created and you can direct your traffic, your bloggers to, and you can send them there. And if they buy, then you get an affiliate commission. So you get a cut. Basically, if the vendor has a product, let's say a video course, and they give you 50%. For every sale that you make, you get 50%. Now, the nice thing about this is you don't have to deal with customer support. The downside is you only get half of the commission. Now, if you create your own product, obviously, you get 100% commission. So you, you are the vendor, so you get 100% of the product. Now, that's the nice thing about products, but product creation definitely does take time. And a shortcut of that is what we call private label rights products. What that means is you have somebody who has created a video course or a report or ebook or some sort of product, and they are giving you rights to put your name on it and make it as your own. So the person creating the private label product, their name is not on it. So you pretty much get all the credit. Now, if you go find a private label rights product in your niche, let's say, for example, lowering cholesterol, and you compile a ebook or a report that somebody can buy, or you can turn that report into a video course that somebody can buy. Either way, product creation or private label rights, you get 100% of the actual revenue. So here's the thing. Finding an affiliate product is great. It allows you to focus on your blog. But if you're unable to find many affiliate products, that just means that you're going to have to create your own products or find private label rights products. But I want you to understand that at the end of the day, the more products you create, the more you actually control yourself. So you actually own these products. And you, if you have five different products, you can cross sell them if somebody buys product one you're more likely to present them with product two, three, four, five. And if they like you and if they like your products, they're more likely to buy the other products. And that's the beauty of this is you can pretty much do however you wish if you own the product. So what I want to do now is just head on over to Google. I'm going to show you real quick how to find products that you can sell if it's affiliate product or if you want a private label rights shortcut. So this is going to be a quick and easy exercise. Simply go to google.com and then of course in the search box, type in private label rights and then place the next word to be your niche. So in this case, if that's lower cholesterol, let's see what we get. So you're going to see PLR or private label rights. You can do a search for PLR as well. Same thing, same acronym. And you can see that you know, this is 349 is 30 days to lower cholesterol, PLR ebook. And you want to make sure that you, you see what's inside the ebook. Now I can't say for everything, some ebooks are created with tons and tons of high quality and some are created and they're not really good quality. So you really have to pick and choose. I mean, it's not really expensive. So in the end, at the end of the day, you can look at it and if it's great, if it needs to be rewritten, you can hire an article writer to do a total rewrite of it. Or another thing you can do is you can head on over to upwork.com or fiverr.com, which is F I V E R R.com and find somebody to turn these articles into videos, which is something that most people don't do, but that's an extra step that you can take that really adds a lot more value. Now, aside from private labor rights, finding affiliate products or products that have vendors who have created a product that you can promote to get an affiliate commission, 
you go to clickbank.com and you click on their affiliate marketplace and you type in a keyword here. So let's say cholesterol and see what we get. So out of this, we can see there's 122 products, which is a good thing. That means that we have enough products that we could potentially sell. And as you can see here, the initial sell is 24.45. And that means that you're going to get that amount of money. And some of these have rebuilt. So some of these have recurring membership sites attached to it. So if you sell it once, you can get paid over and over again over the course of a few months. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to just glance really quick. You don't have to buy anything right now. Just kind of get an idea. Is there actually affiliate products out there that we can sell and promote and get a commission? And we can see that there is indeed 122. All right. So another thing you can do is you can go to Google and we can say lower cholesterol or just cholesterol affiliate program and see what kind of affiliate programs are out there for products that are helping people lower cholesterol. And you would simply go here, you would take a look at it. You could contact the vendor to get more information or even get even private access or complimentary access to the actual product to test it out, to make sure that it is good for your list. So over time, if you build a list of let's say 500 people or a thousand people over time, you have more leverage, the bigger your list is, or the more interactive your actual list is. So lists can be email lists. It could be Facebook likes. It could be Twitter followers and more, but this just gives you an idea about what is actually out there. And if you have enough products to sell on your blog for the future.